Hey everybody, Mojo here. Today I'm replacing the filter on my Honda Monkey. The only tool you will need is a Phillips screwdriver. I use a short little snub screwdriver just so I can get in to the tight areas. And then you'll also obviously need your new air filter. I already have it taken apart just to kind of make the video go quicker. So when getting into the air box, you have the side panels, then you have your air box cover, and then your air filter. So first, each side cover has one Phillips screw. And when you're taking these off, just keep in mind that there are these two slots and on the inside there are these two tabs so they slide into those slots and on the bottom there is another tab and another slot so it's kind of tricky getting them back in after you take it off but because of those tabs and slots this side cover slides forward after you take off that Phillips screw. Then when you put it back on, you have to try and get all those tabs back in place, slide it backwards into the slots, then that Phillips screw holds it in place. After you get those off, then you have your air box cover. Your air box cover has eight Phillips screws that holds it in place. So you remove those eight Phillips screws, then you get to your air filter. The air filter has one Phillips screw. And that Phillips screw is on the left side of the bike, right below the air intake tube. And you undo that, then that comes off. After that, it is just reversing the process, putting everything back together. So let's get started. Okay, let's get started putting this back together again. Got the new air filter. Then you got the Phillips screw. So it's the same size screw that goes into the airbox cover. So if you get them mixed up, it doesn't really matter that much. Pretty long screw. Okay, and so there it is. Now we will put on the airbox cover with the eight screws that hold it on. Okay, so. 
basically four on one side and four on the other. Well, I guess I need it a little bit longer just so I can get around that fender that's in the way. on the other side. Most of this is just time consuming. It's really simple, just takes a while. Just one more.
on the left side. Now it is getting that side cover put on. This is where it gets a little tricky because you want to get all of them connected in so they slide in. Then underneath you have your Allen, your other Phillips screw. Because of my crash cage, crash cage, and oh. and skid plate, it makes it a little bit. harder for me to get in there with a screwdriver there so that side's done now we'll go and do the right side All those tabs are in. Then we'll get this screwed in, tightened down. Okay. So you got the screws under there. That side cover is all on. Those screws underneath hold everything in place. And that is finished.